Hi guys and welcome to Classic TV Facts and Trivia. Uh, I'm going to do one on a lot of people's favorite, the Leave it to Beaver. And did you know that Leave it to Beaver was big in Japan? Leave it to Beaver is a fascinating relic. <clears throat> Looking back, it's easy to feel like the show existed in this white picket fence suburban American ideal. The G shucks dialogue roots in its time, a place far removed from the way the world has since progressed. Seems like Beaver and Wally were American kids facing American problems that would specifically speak to an American audience. The truth uh, was that the adventures of Wally and the Beaver were a little more universal than one might think. 2023 interview with RemindMagazine.com, Jerry Mathers reflected on his most famous role and spoke about what made him the proudest. As it turns out, that same unexpected universal relatability still puts a smile on Mathers' face when he looks back on Leave it to Beaver. What makes me most proud is the longevity of it, he said. Most shows that were on and they quit making, they just disappeared. Usually with a series, you do 39 shows a year, but with Leave it to Beaver, we did 39 and it just kept going and going and people really liked it. It's amazing to have done something as a child that people are still watching and coming up to me and saying, oh, you were so good. And I say, well, thank you very much, but it's been on since 1957 and it's been never been off the air. And it's not only in this country, but it's all over the world. Now in Japan, it's funny to watch it because not only do I speak it, but it's a little girl's voice. <laughs> One other big difference in Japan is the show's title is Happy Boy and His Happy Family. I'm sorry, happy boy and his hat and his family. Why well, won't I put that in there? Uh, when people think, oh, it was just in the United States, it played all over the world. I'd get things from Japan and all over Europe. And a lot of times, fans would say, excuse my broken English in my letter, but I really like the show and whatever. It kind of brought American culture to a lot of places that didn't really know much about America. No word, though, whether those international audiences stayed as impressed by Leave it the, the new Leave it the Beaver when the show debuted in 1983. <clears throat> I would like to see the Japan version and hear his voice, or should I say her? All I got for you here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you have not yet, please like this video. Please share it out for me. You guys have a great day. God bless you, and I'm praying for you.